I, I know, I know. This game was literally announced this summer. This super dated this video, by the way. But hear me out. Remember when Breath of the Wild initially said it would be released? Yeah, I'm just making this video so you calm down a little bit. When the original Breath of the Wild was announced in 2014 as a Zelda game with one large world, it was initially only going to be for the Wii U, and it was supposed to release in 2015. However, as time went on, the date kept getting pushed back further and further until the game actually ended up releasing in early 2017 on both the Switch and the Wii U. I know the reason behind it taking so long to come out in the first place was because they had to build an entire new world that turned out to be bigger than all their other console Zeldas combined. That much is obvious. My point is that Breath of the Wild 2 seems like it's going to be even bigger than Breath of the Wild was. As we saw from the trailer, there seems to be islands out in the sky as well as an entire ground area that is Hyrule now. It's not just something that's going to be on the ground like Breath of the Wild mostly was. Really, the only area that was in the sky was the Divine Beast Va Meadow and that's just about it. That on top of new abilities, new enemy types, and variants of old runes that were all displayed in the trailer show that this game is going to be much, much more complex than its predecessor. Breath of the Wild by itself was already an incredibly hard act to follow, seeing with how the prequel sequel Age of Calamity only sold around one sixth of the copies of Breath of the Wild did. It's not that many in the grand scheme of things. Not only that, but this game is definitely going to want to be memorable in its own way. Just being a huge open world Zelda isn't going to be enough because Breath of the Wild already achieved that. For Breath of the Wild 2 to stand out as its own game, there's going to have to be something huge that this game does that separates it from its prequel. Of course, there's already theories about what this game could be doing, some that are backed by the teaser itself, but there's nothing really concrete outside of what was actually shown at E3. And of course, with that whole year and a half long quarantine as I'm going to call it, going to work, living your normal life, and just developing games in general was extremely difficult to do, so there's a good chance that not everything will be polished out within the next year, especially if they want to make a game that outdoes their previous title. Now this isn't me saying give up on the 2022 release or this isn't going to come out in 2022, I literally can't say that, it's not my game. This is more of a video saying, try to be patient with it. Expect a late 2022 release or an early 2023 release. If it does get pushed back, there's definitely some reasons that are prevalent in the trailer and in the world that we were given that show us that this game is going to take a longer time to make than just one year. Besides, there are still tons of other Zelda games that you probably haven't played or that you just love a lot that you could spend your time playing while you're waiting for this one to come out. Just give it some time and keep your expectations reasonable. Hey guys, thanks again for watching this video. If you want to see more of this type of analytical breakdown, theory, crafting type of content, please leave a like, drop a comment, share the video, do anything that you can to let me know that you want more of these. And I also wanted to mention that I have a Twitch channel that I'm very, very active on. I'm actually more active on there than I am on YouTube. I'm live every Friday, Saturday, Monday, and Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. EST. So uh, if you want to pull up, go ahead and uh, follow the link that's on the screen right now. It'll lead you right to my page. Go ahead and drop a follow, maybe even subscribe or something like that. I don't know. Do what you want to do. There's also a Discord link that's in the description. That's where I keep my people up to date with what I'm doing in terms of streaming and content. And aside from that, there's not much else I have left to say. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.